We're here at Hampton Downs for the Hampton 101. It's the opening of the new track, and we're here with Trass Family Motorsport. It's the Australian GT. The guys have won both the North and South on an endurance series, and now they're going to be competing against all the other GT cars in this series. So let's go talk to them and check out the new track and see what that's like too. It's a really exciting weekend. Look, there's tons of people turning up already. So let's go do it. Yeah, Tony Quinn's done a fantastic job with the international track. Very bumpy though, the poor GT cars because they're so stiff. First time you go out and you try and put power down out of a couple of corners, the car really throws you around. Australian GT's got obviously some fantastic drivers. The cars are all very similar. I mean, there's obviously 2016 spec cars. We're in a 2014 458, but you know, they're not far away. Um, for us, it's obviously measuring ourselves against, well, one pros, but also probably the best amateur drivers around. In, in saying that, you know, our goals really were to try and be two of the fastest AM drivers out there. I mean, we weren't far away from that yesterday. The pros are a second up the road, if not a second and a half. Obviously, the North and South Island series, we're one of the front-running cars. Today, we'll be one of the mid-pack, so it's a different scenario to look at mirrors and different lines and survive three hours, that's, the, that's what it's about. You know, a lot more serious, the more expensive kit out there when you're running around with Tanders and the, the Morcom, all those pros in those beautiful cars. With Sam, he and I are very, very close in times. Yeah, that's very much what I enjoy for the whole weekend. And then that's why we bring Richard Musket over. I mean, for us, we'll, we'll go around in lap time very close. Richard will get us that extra second. And for us, it's that personal drive. So what the other guys are doing, well, so be it. But for us, yeah, that personal, satisf you know, satisfying that personal gain, it's very much what I enjoy for the whole weekend. I thirst for that adrenaline rush and, and the build up, you know, even, even weeks out from a race, you can feel nervous tension and the whole camaraderie and the, you know, the nervous tension in the team. I oh, know you, you just you thirst for it. To me, it was about a journey. It's been six years. And I started in a 944, then did some endurance racing in a Seat, then got into an 06 Cup car, then I got into an 11 Cup car, and then a GT car. So the journey's been wonderful. I mean, for me, it was about hopefully learning the craft and, and getting better at it. A great hobby, quite expensive, but yeah, that's no, good. Did a practice on Thursday and, and we were, uh, you know, we were on the pace and uh, we were running on old tyres and old brake rotors, so looking immensely forward to the weekend as it sometimes in motor racing, as we all know, things, things don't go away. We had a suspension failure on, on Saturday in qualifying and uh, in the first qualifying when I was in the car on turn two and it put us into the sandbox at a, at a hell of a rate of knots. Luckily we went into the gravel trap otherwise uh, she would have been a pretty nasty accident. Sad for the team, especially after the successful year that we've had but I personally, I know Danny was as well, we've been looking forward to this race all year. <laughs> At, at our home track in Hampton, so um, yeah, just real disappointment. We'd love to have the rig girl going uh, for Highlands, but I think it's going to be a big ask. But um, I know the boys and, and the trash boys will uh, do everything they can, and they've, uh, they've got the parts list out of what we need, so we'll be straight on the phone on Monday morning. I think there's already been a few emails sent to see if we can get all, all the gear and then, you know, get the car assembled. and in the transporter and on the truck ready for next Monday, so it's a big ask. Life is motor racing, isn't it? Because it's you can't have all ups all the time and it you can't be all highs, but it, the lows make the highs high, higher is what you've got to tell yourself. But um, 
Mate, I couldn't sleep last night, I was so upset. Like, and I guess when you're that passionate about something, um, it was a very quiet house for my house last night. <laughs>